Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. I hope you're having a great day. Today, the video title is No Lie. I am building 20 decks um, in one sitting. Uh, this, the gauntlet just finished. And honestly, I was actually craving like another gauntlet-like challenge where the idea is I build a bunch of decks and then I just have those decks to bring through every campaign uh, in order. This is a lot less of a challenging requirement than the previous gauntlet. The previous gauntlet was I had to build 18 decks with one collection. I did that. I don't need to do that again. And I was looking for something that provided a similar sort of restriction while not necessarily being the exact same thing. So let me put on this fancy thing that I built. The Gauntlet 2. Wow. Sequels are always better than the originals, right? Uh, so this is going to be the nearest neighbor. This is kind of like what I was um, I was asking in the Discord, also thinking for myself. But basically, each campaign gets three cycles to build with. And the next campaign is going to lose one of those cycles, but gain another one of cycles. It's going to be the cycle before and after it. So as you can see in this uh, image here, uh, in Dunwich, we get a build with Revised Core, Dunwich Legacy, and the Path to Carcosa. Um, in, when we go to Carcosa, we lose Revised Core, but we gain Forgotten Age. And this continues all the way down to the bottom. When we get to the Feast of Hemlock Vale, where Hemlock Vale actually gains the core set again. Because there's no set after, um, after Hemlock Vale at the time of recording this uh, video. So that's going to kind of loop in on itself. So this is actually very similar to what we are doing with the um, the draft challenge. The draft challenge is actually quite similar to this kind of thing that we got here. Um, so it should be pretty fun. Uh, a few rules. Uh, and I'm, I'm also like, because uh, this is organic I'm, I'm going as i'm building as i go if anyone has any spicy suggestions on how to make this even more interesting let me know and i'll see if we can adapt on the fly but the investigators must come from the eligible card pool as well uh so yeah it should be pretty fun uh it's gonna be a lot more chill than the previous gauntlet i do think that the previous gauntlet was a much more difficult challenge this one should be a lot easier but still provide um a fun little thing. So, we have Revised Corset, Path of Carcosa for the Dunnage Legacy. So these are going to be the first two decks that um, we're building here. Uh, and I was kind of thinking it could be fun to build around... Uh, we also get the Return 2s. The Return 2s are part of their cycles, you know. Um, The, I was kind of thinking like big guns could be fun because I never built around these when we did the actual one, but five experience is notably a lot of um, a lot of stuff here. Because um, we need a goon. I mean, we could just be boring and do like machete and blackjack for the first one. I might also be boring. Um, and do Rex Murphy. Because I, I only get like... If we go back to this the image here. I get d deductions level 0 for revised core and then the starter decks. So I'm kind of without deduction for... Um, I'm kind of without deduction for a good majority of this. So I kind of want to... Um, I kind of want to just play with deduction and... Uh, Rex was really fun to play last time. I, I think he's really good. Uh, can Parallel Rex play... I, I, if I was playing Parallel Rex, I'd probably want to take advantage of the cursed cards, right? Which I don't get when I'm playing with Rex. Yeah, and all, all return twos are totally fine. Alright, I'm going to remove that. If anyone needs to see that again, let me know. Because we're in for a long video. This is going to be a long time as we kind of get through this all. Um, I only want to see player cards, please. I might do. Still not playing the corset campaign. Why would I? Why would I waste my time? <laughs> why would I play a three scenario campaign? Why? Well, I, I I cut my 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 line that I draw my draw it on is four. Um. 
I think for Pat's a Carcosa, it could be fun. I was thinking of maybe doing sealed pair, uh, pair, uh, Jim Silver. I think that could be a fun time. Because we get access to... Oh, no, we don't get access to the clue spells. Oh, no, we do in Carcosa. We do good in Carcosa. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Dream Eaters is four decks with the same pool. So Dream Eaters is going to be a little bit interesting. I think to make it interesting, I would like to also, when I'm building in a campaign, to not have, like, overlap. So, like, for example, with the Dream Eater decks, I want to try to avoid overlap as much as I can. Um, but when I'm building, like, the Circle Undone, for example, and I have the Dream Eater's card pool, I can use cards that are in the Dream Eater cycle that I'm using in the Dream Eater's decks. But, like, within their own campaign, it'd be fun to try to have as little overlap as possible. Okay... So who are our, our, our three goons? We have Roland, who's not great. We have Zoe, who is very good. Roland would be better if we didn't have, like, Deduction and Dr. Milan. I think, like, um... I think our, um... I think our Kluver is gonna be really good for this. I'm not playing Skids. <laughs> I'll play Skids. I'll consider Skids in the Feast of Hemlock Vale, but probably not. Uh, so we have Roland, Zoe, and Mark. I don't think we have a good... When did Switchblade come out? The upgraded Switchblade. That was Dunwich. Man, it's just in these early days, rogues were really bad. Right? Rogues were just not good. So I think I am going to build a Guardian because we also have Vicious Blows to play with. I played Mark last time. I think we just do Zoe, right? I think we just build a Zoe deck for Dunwich. Zoe's always a good time. Oh yeah, and also, uh, you can't repeat Investigators. Once an investigator is done, I know you were like uh, tongue-in-cheek saying play Mark Harrigan every time. Gauntlet 2, Zoe, uh, Dunwich... Zoe. Okay. Contains too few cards. I know. I know that. Alright. Well, let's see what we got to fight with. We, of course, have a machete, which we're going to take. Um, I mean, for our allies, we're definitely going to want to take our good friend. I mean, I guess I'm going to also run the 45 automatic, right? We can't kind of like... Beggars can't be choosers here. Uh, I can get the upgrade to Blackjack. Like I said, it would be fun to, like, maybe dream of the lightning gun. Maybe as, like, a one-of we can play it. It is very expensive, though. I think I'm going to start with Knife, and the Knife is going to turn into the Blackjack. Because I think that... <laughs> I think, like, when you look at it on the tin, I think I would rather play Knife than anything else. Okay. Um, Give me Beatcoff. Man, these decks... The, the collections are tiny. I always forget that just like how small it is when you don't have a full thing. On the on the plus side, this means that we're probably not going to take as long as we did for the gauntlet. Like it's still going to be a time. It's still going to take us um, a bit to go there. Yes, yeah, Zoe is allowed to be parallel. We have access to parallel investigators. Is it crazy to also grab the 32 Colt? Because we do have to worry about the melee thing in Dunwich. And we're not going to have, like, a big access to kill spells. So is it better to just, like, run the 32 Colt? 
We can get overpowers because they are in our pool. We can get emergency caches because they are in our pool. Um... We could play prepared for the worst, but I don't know how much we even need it. We could put these in the side deck. Um, we have to figure out our splash cards, too, because we do get those splash cards. So, like, realistically, who are our seekers? We have, um, we have, uh, Daisy, Rex, and Min. Uh, and we played actually all of them in the gauntlet last year. <laughs> Um, so, but we're going to play one of them again because we just have so many good seeker cards in the core that I think we want to be able to use while we still can. Going to do Parallel Roland? I'm probably not going to, no, I'm probably not going to do Parallel Roland. I don't, uh, Parallel Roland is fine, but the problem is that, like, I'll make so many mistakes playing with him. I already know that that's going to happen. <laughs> I already know that that's the way. Wendy is an alright Kluber, but she cannot play. Like we have a we have a rotating collection. I'll say this. I'll say this again. We have a rotating collection, and this is my chance to play with the revised core cards before we uh, lose them until Feast of Hemlock Vale. So I want to take advantage of the very powerful seeker cards that we have while we can. Because the goal of the Gauntlet Wall is to limit our collection. It's still to fucking win, baby. Because we love winning. Yeah. As Revnox saying, it requires a lot of mental bandwidth, and that's kind of hard when I also feel like I can't stop talking. If I, if I stop talking in an Arkham video, people are going to be like, why am I watching this Arkham video? You have to have, like, dialogue, like, as much as you can, because Arkham is not entertaining on its own. <laughs> if someone's just silently playing Arkham, I don't think I could ever watch it. I'll be it's funny because the Rex deck is actually probably going to be very similar to the Rex deck from Scarlet Keys because he kind of just got all of the good stuff, right? He kind of just got all the good shit. Um, I mean, I'll take... I don't get the upgraded on the hunt, but I do think that on the hunt is just good for Zoe. Um, look, let's think of our splash cards. So I kind of want to play Delve Too Deep for our splash cards. What if, if I do Rex, what if each of us take a Delve Too Deep? If Rex is the other one, right? So we each take a Delve Too Deep. Here, let's also start, I think the other one's gonna be, it's gonna be Rex. It's just like too good. It's just too good. And the people who loved Jank, worry not, we're going to get to Jim Silver, Silver in Carcosa. So that's coming up next. Don't, don't you worry about that. All right. Give me, in Mystic, give me a Delve Too Deep. Uh, and, you know, while we're here, just, like, give me the gold. <laughs> By God, it's just good shit. Mm, Dr. Milan Christopher, two magnifying glasses dipped in Bobbleys' chili oil. Okay. Fieldwork, great card. Give me a shortcut. Yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. Uh, do, 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 do. Give me some neutral cards. I'll take emergency cash. I'll take perceptions. Give me unexpected courages. Uh, I think I will take flashlights, just because, you know, beggars can't be choosers here. I 
I actually think I've got a plan is a pretty good idea. Because we can also get the upgraded version, right? No, that, where does the upgraded, I've got a plan. Oh, that's probably Harvey Walters. Yeah, it is Harvey Walters. So we can't play the upgraded version. For some reason, I thought it was the return to. Is some brood cheese in your pools? I don't think so. I mean, we have stuff like Waylay and things like that, but I'm not sure that that's the way with this this comp. I think we're just gonna play. Um, this mean you have them available at long last? The campaign? No, it hasn't. The campaign still hasn't come out in Canada. The campaign ain't coming out. We just we Canadians just have to accept it. We're not getting it up here. We're not getting it. As I said on Reddit, they're return toing us. You can use this to cheese extra XP out of that one scenario. You could use that to cheese. I don't know if it's worth the slot, though. I think we just die on that scenario. Time roller, how's it going? We can't play, um, there's no Lucky Cigarette Case, which I actually would love, to be honest. Is there a good necklace, necklace slot, like Holy Rosary? What do you have for your necklace? You have the cross. I'm not opposed to a Holy Rosary TBH. Because I do always like to put, like, a clue-getting spell. But it's usually, um, Sixth Sense, right? I don't know if Right of Seeking will be the way. I like Sixth Sense because it, it's cheaper. It doesn't require um, all of the shit that goes with it. Upgrade a 32. Oopsie. Upgrade a 32 Colt in the sideboard. Yeah, Drawn to the Flame probably ain't terrible. That'll be good from scenario one to scenario eight. And again, I don't like um, cross between, so I'm not. I'm probably not going to look at the seeker cards. That's a fortune, so Rex can't play it. So I just play Parallel Ash Gampede again and just like uh, do Hiding Spot and just go nuts with it. Oh, give me Vicious Blows, by the way. Where's Upgraded Leadership? Not here. <laughs> Not here! Uh, yeah, look what I found. Guzz cost two, though, and my, my curve is a bit on the higher side, except I have no two-cost cards, so maybe. I like Drawn to the Flame because it is zero, and like... Zoe, in theory, isn't too scared of the Dunnage encounter set. Uh, between Forgotten Age and Feast of Hemlock Vale, which Investigator expansion gives them the most for my collection? I think there's... I think there's a lot of good stuff in either of them, to be honest. Um... I think that you'll have a more bang for your buck in Forgotten Age. I think Forgotten Age has more duds than um, Hemlock Vale does, but I think that it has better investigators. So I'm going on the investigators, putting it ahead. It has fit Leo Anderson, Ursula Downs, Finn Edwards, and then two other homies are there too. <laughs> two other homies are hanging out. I like the Drawn to the Flame. I think that's not bad.
Yeah, it's three great investigators and two other homies, exactly. Finn, Leo, Ursula, they're all great investigators, and there's two other guys hanging out with them. Who are like, we're here too, we're here too! I think my last splash. Oh, the lantern. It does seem kind of poggy with Rex. Without Hins Hins Hinsmouth, Hemlock Veil is complete. Don't listen to their lies. <laughs> Don't listen to their lies. You can play Hemlock without Hinsmouth and you'll do fine. What we need? We need... I need two more splash cards. I mean, I do like the elusive. It is kind of nice. It's a strong card. I also like the lantern, to be honest. I kind of like the lantern. Uh, I'm probably going to take um, Unexpected Courage here and Zoe as well. Lantern for the Whippoorwills? Honestly, wasn't even thinking of that. <laughs> I was just thinking of investigate uh, Rex's ability, but yeah, that's actually also pretty good. Yeah, but that, that is a pretty good selling point. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie for sure. Only Kohaku really needs it himself. I don't think he really needs it. I think he benefits from it, but I think Kohaku is still entirely playable outside of the box. What's the plan? Guns. We got guns, baby. We're going to run two guns and uh, two melee weapons, and we're going to just shoot them to death. And if all else fails, we're going to kill them the hard way. <laughs> Which is with our fucking fists, bro. We're going to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Um, can I pl You can't play Lucky. Like, Lucky's a fortune. So I don't think I'm having those. I think, I mean, like, I, I like Elusive. It's just, it's, it costs two, man. But I don't like I'm out of here. That feels bad. Don't like any of these. Okay, I think I want the Dodds and Dodges and, and Zoe. I think the Dodges are, are worth it. Do I run like a one of Dynamite Blast? I think so. I can save us in a pinch. You have Milan money though? Yeah, which I'm going to be using to play in like my events and assets. Milan ain't economy. Milan ain't economy. He's good, but he's not. If he's your plan for economy, I don't think he's the way, especially because I want to be playing other stuff. Like, Elusive's right now in the front run, but two, I do not like. I'd rather it be like zero or one. I mean, what's the what's the problem with. Oh, no, I was going to say my. I was going to say another draw to the flame. Ah, you know what? Give me a word of protections. Why the fuck not? Let's do that. There we go. There we go. An actual, like, really fucking banger card. Okay, I take a one of logical reasoning. I think the card is actually... Do we get the upgraded version? We do. Okay, I'll take it. This card did so much for me in my first gauntlet run that I'm kind of like really hot on it.
I don't like spending my time drawing cards. I'd rather just like find cards in other way. No Stone Unturned could be good in a pinch. I think that's just the one, right? Because No Stone Unturned is good if we need it, and if we don't need it, it's a wild. And I think that's a Rex deck with currently one upgrade. <laughs> okay. Well, um... Oh. Do we want to try Archaic Glyphs? What's the upgraded version do? Our hand slots are pretty full, but these turn into spell slots. Oh shit, yeah, all the good cards. Well, let's see what we have in the good cards, because there are a lot of just good cards hanging out here. Oh yeah, Rex's signature is great. However, his parallel signature is fucking insane. Should I just play his advanced version? Give me the upgraded magnifying glasses. I'll take the disc of its Zom though. Card's actually a fucking banger, bro! researches skills giving the upgraded deductions i mean i think this rex deck is pretty good and luckily it's a lot it's gonna be a lot easier for us to upgrade on the fly if needed see you tyler i think his advanced is worse without his parallel front interesting let me see that Oh, because you can't turn it into curse tokens. That's fair. That's fair. But I mean, I think like you, I think it's still really good, right? You draw, if you draw three and then return two, so you draw five. I think it's, I think it's still very good. I think it is, yeah, worse without his parallel front, but I still think the effect is really good. All right, two deck, one deck done. Let's finish off Zoe too. Okay. I kind of like the upgraded bandolier. I mean, we also could run like a relic hunter. I need to. I also need to do my last splash card. Dude, I kind of want to just play Holy Rosary. I kind of do. What's our chart like? Uh, it is an expensive deck. <laughs> like, we are Zoe. Okay, I'm going to play the Bandoliers. I think I want this. Put a Relic Hunter in the side deck. No, there was not much Econ in the starting, in the, in the, in the, in the old days. There's not much Econ. I do like Inspiring Presence. Do we like it enough to run it over Unexpected Courage? I think so, especially if we get to the upgrade of Beat Cops. I think so. I think... Do we like that more? Is this more likely to live here? Okay. All right. 30 minutes, two decks down, only 18 more to go. But in theory, it should get easier and easier, right? In theory. All right, get out of here, core. Get in here, Forgotten Age, as we move on to our... Um, Forgotten Age deck. Sorry, our Carcosa decks. 
All right. Well, we're going to build a gym deck. We're building a gym deck for sure. Because I think it will be kind of fun to play Jim Silver. I do. So this one is Carcosa. And we got Jim. What the heck? One second. Let's probably just... Okay, sure. All right. Uh, give me Chthonian stones, and we want the upgraded versions. Okay, which I was like, I was like, are they not? <laughs> are they not in this? Okay, no, they are. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. Should be sometime running classic gym yet again, again with upgrade all of oh probably probably yeah yeah I, I can see that happening for sure okay um how are we doing this I mean we're gonna go to Mystic I want um give me two copies of Arcane Research uh, for sure I would I mean potentially potentially I mean we do have the right of seeking. Which we can go into the bigger right of seekings. <laughs> hmm. How do we increase our brain without Holy Rosary? Probably David Renfield is a way of us doing that, right? That's one way. Dude, it always sucks to lose. Oh, good. I was like, we can just play Guts. We don't have Guts anymore. We have lost our boy Guts. Yeah. Me too, St. Hubert's key. David Renfield's probably good enough, but we'll see. I mean, she was... Uh, we could try all of McBride instead of David. We don't get the upgraded version, but we could still try to do some fun stuff with that. I think our splash is probably going to have to be ways that we... Um, make our stuff better. Need all the money you can get? Well, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> that's going to be a little bit of a problem with um, this card pool. We could do poop to gold. That would be a way for us to potentially get more money. <sighs> okay, alternatively, we could go like Alyssa Graham instead and just be like Jim Bookver and go five book, which is not a great number, and we're just going to be like forcing ourselves into things rather than David. Albeit David also makes us money, and we're going to need money. The upgrade or Chthonian Stone is smaller. This is going to cost four. Yeah. <laughs> If we take, I mean, if we take alchemical transmutation, we are going to take arcane research so we can make our poop to gold better, quicker, faster, stronger. I mean, we don't need much more. We just need like one more like upgrade spell thing that we can do. Storm of spirits. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. So like, it's actually funny, because in times like this, I actually do think that the original Gauntlet is going to lead to better decks when the card pool is kind of like this. It's not a great card pool. I'll be, once again, we are playing Jim. Like, we are doing Jim here. So, like, it's a choice that's a little bit of a, you know, I love Jim, but at the same time, Jim is kind of poopy. I would love um oh look what I found. That goes really hard in gym. 
but I do not think it is the way. Remember when Travis had six assets to choose from? The other draft? Yeah, that was very funny. All right, well, I'm going to play Lantern. How am I going to hold the trumpet? I'm going to just assume I'm not going to get the trumpet, TBH. We want to hold a Lantern in one hand, this in another. Um, I think that our... We're seal deck. We got to play Christine, Crystalline Elder Sign, right? We can also get a Relic Hunters as well. Okay. I still need to put 18 more cards in this deck, and I don't even know who Jim's going to who Jim's gonna pair with. Who should we pair with Jim Chat? From Dunwich, uh, Carcosa, and... And as the fighter, because Jim's our Kluver. Ha <laughs> uh. So don't forget that. Don't forget that Jim's our Kluver. Dark Prophecy? Hmm. Sure. This one's going to be a cluster for sure. Oh. Poop to gold. Into... Torrent of power? You want good suggestions? Yeah, I want good suggestions. <laughs> as long as they're on par with Jim Silver, we're going to be golden, right? What about York? York's a fun idea. Torrent of power with, I mean, alchemical transportation, Gathonian stone, decorated skull. Oh, don't get me started. I'm basically just looking for ways to get clues. Don't think it's that one, though. These damn Dunnage splashes are fucking with me. A Eureka is actually probably pretty good. So I need one more, a one of splash card somewhere. <laughs> I was like, field work? Dude, I've already lost the luckies too. Holy shit. So one of winging it the way. Yeah, let's do it. I think a one of winging it is actually probably the way. All right. We have backpacks coming in. We we have the upgraded backpack? Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five. So two, four, six, seven. Seven on items. One collection? No, I'll put it on screen. It's, it's something like this. So it's going to be a rotating limited collection. I can see myself running fine clothes. It is Carcosa, after all. I mean, we're going to want our fighter to be good. They are going to be fighting Big Butt Baby over and over and over again. York's weapons, I think, are pretty limited. Desperates are funny. I don't know if they're good, though. Yeah. Albeit, I was saying that in times like this, I actually think the one collection would lead to better decks. In, like, times where the 
card pools are like the card pool I'm currently working with. <laughs> and the investigator choice. Admittedly, and the investigator choice. I'm not going to pretend that I'm building with a top tier investigator here. All right, hear me out. We're going to play backpack. We're going to play fine clothes. We're going to put... I still have to put seven more cards in this deck? Holy shit. That is a lot of cards. <laughs> that is a lot of cards, but luckily we can play um, Delve Two Deeps. This is Carcosa. I mean, we can also play all of it. We can be a two ally deck for sure. Just like kill David ASAP, get some cash out of him, have him pay himself back. And then maybe run like a... Oh, I could run Enraptured. Get another Rite of Seeking. I can play a one of Defiance. It's not great, but like these decks aren't gonna be good. Well, this gym deck ain't gonna be good. All right, and we gotta find out who's gonna be paired with Jim here. All right. So, a goon. We can't play Agnes. We can play Akachi. I don't think I want to do two Mystics, though. <laughs> I don't think I want to do two Mystics for Carcosa. Uh, we can play Ashcan Pete as a goon. I don't know if that's the way. I, I like the Will Yorick idea. Because I think Will Yorick is kind of just, like, always pretty all right. We can't play Beat Cops. Can't play Guard Dogs. Okay, Will Yorick is getting a lot worse. There's only one investigator who can start backstage. Don't put that evil on me. <laughs> don't don't even tempt me with that, Satan. Mark Harrigan is going to be pretty much exactly like the um, the deck we just built with Zoe. So I'm going to go run spells or relics for the ghosts. That's a good shout. No, Jim Culver is just going to talk the ghost off a cliff. <laughs> Jim Culver is just going to talk the, the ghost off the, the cliff. It's a parlay. Jim can test book one with his fine clothes. Let's go. Can't do Daisy. Shouldn't do Finn. Don't want to do Jenny. Unless. <laughs> Unless. Could do Leo. His six sanity kind of sucks for Carcosa. But we could do Leo here. So it's got to be Leo or Mark, right? I think I want to do Leo. I have a plan. And this plan is really good. Fine clothes, decorated skull. Give me uh do, 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 do. give me a backpack. We're gonna want a backpack. Maybe not backpack. Um here one second. Let me just uh go weapons, please. Yeah, give me survival knife, baby. Give me uh, an upgraded switchblade, which we're going to upgrade into for sure, for sure. Uh, I'll take a cold vest pocket, I think. Sorry, I mean, I'll take the 41 Derringer, I think. Not the upgraded version. That's too good. I don't get the level 0 version? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck! Do I get reliable here? Oh, I do get reliable here. Okay. Hear me out. Joe, uh, we're gonna just fucking kill everybody or die trying. I want all... <laughs> That's it? That's it, chat? 
<laughs> Those are all my allies at level zero? Oh, fuck. All right, we're going to want these guys for sure. At least hired muscle. All right, Joey, you soak for a million. Venturer, you're fucking here too, I guess. <laughs> you're here too. Survival knife is not a good plan for Big Butt Baby. I'm gonna just tell you guys that right now. <sighs> All right, what are my skills? I mean, like, these are my weapons. Don't even have knife to fall back on. I can't. I can't. I can't play Kukri, can I? I can't. I can't, like, seriously think about playing Kukri. I mean, we might as well run the 32 Colt because we do Adventurer, right? Type fight instead of weapon. Mm -mm. I I don't think in this class too much. We do have shit that we upgrade into that is kind of sick. We don't have. Kukri's better than Trench Knife? I mean, yeah. It is. You're not gonna- you're not lying there. Dude. <laughs> oh, I'll play Colin in Favors, I think. I think Colin in Favors is gonna work alright in here. Guardian, give me a uh, prepared for the worst, I think. I'll take a scene of the crime. Where am I going to get any of my economy from? There's one. There's one econ. Can play watch this. Okay, I'll play watch this. That's economy. Joey the rat can sell my items. Okay. Take a liquid courage. Dario is technically econ, that is true. <laughs> Turns out designers assumed you have a corset. Yeah. They definitely did. They definitely did, which I think is, is fair. I think that's definitely fair. Oh, here's my econ. Decorated skull, of course. Honestly, I, I think that this deck is gonna do better than we think. There's a lot of good pieces here. It's just like assembling them. Is it worth looking at neutrals? I did look at neutrals. <laughs> That's where we thought maybe the Kukri. And do we get upgraded survival knife in this pack? Oh, huge. Yeah, this deck's going to upgrade really well. We just have to get there. Oh, oh I get you. I get you. Yeah, no, you should, you should always check out neutrals, I think. Yeah, Joey the Rat can buy stuff from us. 
No, no, not that. That's the upgraded Joey, which I don't think we can play. This Joey's just here because he soaks for me. How are your chances to get this Big Butt Baby? Oh, I honestly, I'm actually not too worried about Big Butt Baby, to be honest. It's going to be scrappy as hell, but... We have Jim Silver on the on the day. I wish... Okay, hear me out. We're going to get Reckless Assault. Because I feel like we're going to take three sanity pretty quick. Uh, in all fairness, I also thought this Joey bought stuff for me, so this Joey is just here to soak for us. Ooh, take the initiative is huge. How are we going to kill Big Butt Baby? With Intrepid? This one's going to be... This one's going to be a struggle for sure. Okay, I think we sit on this one for the time being, though. I think we just accept that this one's here. Are we ever... The question is, though, are we going to ever be able to get out of this Guardian loop? Alright, on our way to Carcosa. Sorry, on our way to Forgotten Age, I mean. I do like me some Finn. We have Circle Undone now. We can just fucking die as Joe Diamond. What if we just did the dream team of like Finn and Ursula? Rita actually also would not... No, she would be terrible. She doesn't get good to Ledge of the Earth. We're not gonna we're not gonna be able to live the Rita dream, are we? Last chance to play Yorick, right? Yeah, this is the last chance to play Yorick. Alright, but I think it is Finn. I think Finn's just the easy choice for this one. I uh, know Rita is pretty good in Forgotten Age, but her card pool is gonna be like ass. Last chance for Mr. Harrigan. Mr. Harrigan's probably not gonna make the cut. Okay. Give me track shoes. Maybe just a one of track shoes. Yeah, though the problem is that she kind of folds to an, uh, an elite enemy, right? Like, as soon as a boss shows up, she kind of folds, I think. Yeah, all campaigns are non-return twos. I haven't decided, to be honest. We still have Carcosa here? We do, don't we? This is, is our last Carcosa time. Tough, tough, tough. Okay. Are you playing Taboo? Yes, I should be. I should be, yes. Thank you. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, well, we do get to get some pretty good upgrades here. Like, I think we're just going to go with Lola Santiago. We can get lock picks. I think this Finn should be pretty good once we get through the first scenario. How do we get clues in those earlier things? Great question. <laughs> Great question. Great question? Dude, I miss... I miss the uh, one card challenge, to be honest. <laughs> it, it felt like I, this deck would go hard with a the perception. These are still all the neutral skills I have. Okay. Trench coat. Hawkeye folding camera. There's also a fingerprint kit. It's expensive, but like it can do good. Problem is, I think once we get lockpicks out, we'd rather be doing that. Field work too. Probably field work can make the cut too. But I only get I only get four more cards, right? I only get four more cards here. All right, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. What if both of my people just run a called lexicon so we have, like, ways to kill things? Is that a bad idea? I don't think that's a bad idea, right? Is it unique? No, they, they, they mass produce these. You can buy them at Walmart. Oh, shit! You're fucking right, astute! Okay, give me winging it. Give me hiding spot. Get, no, not hiding spot. The, uh, give me impromptu barrier. Boom. Um, I don't know if I want two of these. <laughs> I'll take one improvised weapon, I think. To fill out my last one of. No, I can't play all these cards. Fuck! Fuck! All right, we'll just grab the winging it's then. Grab the winging it. The winging it's. Yeah. I got so excited. I was like, "This is gonna fill out so much of my deck." I do think this is pretty sweet, though. I do think that's pretty sweet. That was some good tech. All right, you handle this one, please. Dude, intel reports are kind of huge. Do we actually get economy here yet? We do have watch this. Don't get sneak attack. We get the upgraded sneak attack, though. I'll probably take that. Maybe that can be a coup de gras into a sneak attack. I don't think that's terrible. How do we beat the earlier locations? I think you want impromptu barrier more. Ah, uh, that's fair. I disagree, though. I disagree, but I think that's fair. I think that's when Big Money came out. Big Money came out in Circle Undone with Preston. <laughs> that was the first cycle with Big Money. Problem is, though, is that Preston was his own econ, so they didn't put that many, much econ in, right? So we should have it, but the problem is that um, Prest, it's Preston, right? I'll take the Tennessee. We want the rogue one. Yeah. Again, I think that this is pretty good at getting us out of... Like, it's going to be pretty good at getting us 
once at XP, we're going to get good. Once we get XP in this deck. But it's getting to that point where we can do that. Kind of down for an eavesdrop. I think eavesdrop will do stuff here. Slip away is going to do good. I mean, we can't... Beggars can't be choosers here, right? We're just kind of have to put in... Put in whatever works, right? I do need an ally to fill the spot. It's probably, realistically, I don't want either of them. Um... But Dario commits for a book icon. Dario commits for a book icon for Lola Santiago. So I think we're going to run Dario over Henry. Okay. Mm. We do have the 45 Thompson. So maybe we do bring Mark with us. The problem is, is that I think you'd rather have someone who can like reliably evade without taking damage they all commit for snake bite hell yeah <laughs> they do don't they oh yeah finn's getting poisoned though on the agenda flip for sure for sure he is <laughs> So we're gonna bring medicine. Yeah, we're, we're we're bringing medicine for sure. Okay. I'm gonna say it. I actually miss the the full collection. I missed the full collection challenge. I think it actually, I think it is, this is going to be harder. I think that this is actually going to be a harder challenge. I think I just have to play bad cards, right? Grab Cheap Shot. I mean, Cheap Shot's not bad. It costs two, though. The Willpower Desperate skill? Maybe? I have to take four horror, like four uh, horror to get there. If I can't find anything else, Stack Building is for what purpose? fun <laughs> you know trying to do something different with my life because i play arkham every week i need to i need to continue to provide myself with interesting challenges lest i stop making arkham content i just don't think we have the money for these cards Exactly, right? Yeah, like, we could have, make sure each deck had an ally and, like, some sort of economy. Not here as much. But don't worry, soon, uh, we get the Investigator starter decks and we're gonna be sitting pretty for a bit. I'm waiting for the deck can only take cards that we can... Oh, I've already done that. <laughs> I already did an alpha. I already did a deck name challenge one. I did it through Circle Undone. It was actually really fun. Yeah, that's already been done. Um, I mean, I think we take Intel reports. The card's just good. If we do get the exp the money, we can just play it. But they also commit for icons, right? Like, they all have relevant icons, except for maybe, you know, you, but still. You know, be a breath of fresh air for the guy who plays Arkham his whole life? A new campaign? Yeah, but it's not coming to Canada. I've just, I've just accepted it, TBH. <laughs> I'm ne I'm never seeing it. I'm never gonna see it. I don't know who I am. I don't know who you are, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Ah, fuck it. Henry Wan gets bit by a snake. Investments give me money. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like Darren Maneuver. I think we don't do Henry. I, 
I think, I think... Daring Maneuver commits for a wild. Swift Reflexes. I think I'm going to take the Daring Maneuvers. They commit for a wild. Swift Reflexes are also kind of sick. Okay. Who's going to party with Finn is the question of the day. We have room for... It's the last chance for Will York. It's the last chance for... Um, what's his nuts? Mark Harrigan. Are there no lockpicks? They are. There's upgraded lockpicks. Notably... What's the clue getting spell from Circle Undone? That's not. Is that? Is the. Was that fucking. What's its nuts? Is that the fucking Sixth Sense? Holy shit, we're building a Mystic! Wait a minute, we already built our Kluver! Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck, we already built our Kluver! Okay, we can build a Mystic in uh, Circle Undone. We're building a Mystic in Circle Undone. And it might be our boy Father Mateo. It might be Father Mateo. All right, Mark Harrigan. Great stat line. Great ability. I don't know, my cat's gonna come down and start crazy with chaos. Twenty decks for Gauntlet two. There's enough time. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. We're already six decks in though. We're on our sixth deck. I think we're killing it. Hey Russ, gonna come up here? How old is Russ now? I actually don't know. I think he's like six? Five or six. My guy. Okay. The circle undone was Carolyn. New. No. I mean, it's probably just Mark, right? I move on your part? Uh, no, he's not. Uh, the door was open. I didn't. I didn't open it. I mean, I didn't, he didn't open it. The door's open right now. I only close it when I kick him out. Yeah, let's do Mr. Mark. Because we can play the big gun. Give me 45 Thompson. Give me 32 Colt for the third time. Give me Hallowed Mirror. Uh, give me fucking Survival Knife. Why the fuck not? Give, give me it all, baby. All right, uh, this is going to be pretty good. <laughs> give me Side Deck of You. Give me Side Deck of You. Give me Side Deck of You. Okay, I'll take a Backpack. Give me side deck of you. Oh, dude, we have Act of Desperation in our card pool. Holy shit. All right. Give me Improvised Weapon. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm putting all those in my side pool. <laughs> True Grid or something we're fighting for for extra soak. I think that's a great idea. I think that's probably good because probably our ally choice is pretty small with this pool, right? Yeah. It's going to be Venturer. He reloads our guns. Now, what's our economy? We have card draw built on Mark. Hi, Russell, but our cards are so expensive. Is our economy just like take resource actions and downtime hey this isn't playtime act desperation not delay the inevitable i'll tell you that much right now 
What the fuck? Get out of here. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, look at that. Because when you lie on your back, you want to kill me. All right, so our economy is going to be crazy, and our curve right now is astronomical. <laughs> it's fucked. It's fucked. It's, it's astronomical. Holy cow. Okay, so we want to put the rest of our cards, the last 11, to be as low as we can. But luckily, we are really good at doing this kind of shit. And take the initiative. I think I'll take inspiring presences. That just seems good. Oh, I'm gonna have to kick you out after this, buddy. Oh, my guy. Okay. I'll take a second wind. Those seem really nice. I just want Guardian, please. I can get behind Steadfast. I'm going to take I'll See You in Hell. Probably just as a one of. It's an overpower. I'm going to take the Delay the Inevitables, too. Do those cost two? Never mind. I thought they cost zero. But it's two. It's, it's two, and then two each time you want to keep it. I like Scene of the Crime, but it's a bit expensive. I'll take the Let Me Handle This, is, I suppose. Yeah, I'll throw in this. I think this is actually a pretty good deck. I think this deck's actually kind of sick. You'd love to see it. All right, so we are now moving on to Circle Undone. And baby, we got six cents. So we're going to lose Path to Carcosa. Goodbye, Path to Carcosa. And hello, Dream Eaters. Okay, so we lose Path to Carcosa here. Okay. What's the exciting bit of Sixth Sense? It's consistency. It's just consistent, right? It's just really, like, consistent. Okay. Who are we going to bring? I kind of like Father Mateo. Just because he's really good in Undimension... Sorry, Union and Disillusion. He's really good in Union and Disillusion. But do we have a way to increase our brain score passively? Or have we lost all of that in the other stuff? Who else do we have? We have Luke. He has four brain as well. Much better ability. And we also have... Who's the circle and done one? Diana and Marie? Investigator's deck. We don't have Investigator. We don't get Investigator deck till Dream Eaters. Okay. What does Dream Eaters gives in terms of weapon? So, because the other thing is that we, like, saw so much diversity with classes in the first gauntlet because we had to use the whole thing. Marie does have Hawkeyes. Marie also brings with her Baron Samdi. <laughs> hmm, what do we do, Russ? What do we do? Oh, Enchanted Blade's going to be nice. Oh, 
Let's go take you upstairs, buddy. You can also take Mandy. Hmm. She's a uh, taboo, though, so I'll have to take 50, which is not great for a limited collection. Core stuff allowed? No. Core stuff has rotated out a while ago. It comes back during Hemlock, though, which will be fun. <sighs> and then who's my goon gonna be? I mean, like, we can go into Tony now. Tony can probably do some good shit. Maybe like Tony and uh, Father Mateo? Or Tony and Luke? I really like Father Mateo for his ability though. Yeah, we're gonna do Father Mateo and Tony, I think. Campaign, can we do we run these decks? Uh, we're, these ones are for Circle Undone. Tony! Luckily, Dream Eater should be a vacation compared to all this. Tony's never getting out of the Realm of Torment? That's okay. We ain't worried about a Realm of Torment here. We're worried about everything else. <laughs> Circle. Union and Disillusion. All right, give me Alden McBride. Give me Six Cents. Fuck it, give me Wither. I don't care. Um. Oh, we gotta start with 5 XP too. Holy shit. Give me scroll secrets. That's a huge get. Probably gonna take arcane researches, to be honest. Oh, we get the um get the upgrade at Halomir. Okay, we're cooking. Dude, Alter Fate! Let's fucking go! Okay, I'll put this in my side deck. Let's go. Empower self? Bo -bo 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 all right, let's get serious. <laughs> let's get serious, chat. Deny existence! Oh my god, okay, we're cooking. So, slight spoilers. Uh, we can't do the upgrade one. Oh, we can't do the upgrade one. Um, slight spoilers for um, the video um, that I'm going to be recording on stream on Wednesday. Um... The Mystics actually had the highest win rate in my Gauntlet Challenge. They are the only class that achieved a 100% win rate. But we don't have a way to boost our book. Sorry, boost our brain. Because Mystic Suites come in packages. Oh yeah, we could do the tarot card. That would be the way. I did not organize the packages that well though. I'll tell you that much. Well, actually, in all fairness, uh, one of them was a guardian, one was Lily Chen. Um, but she counts as a mystic for the stats. So she, they really were three for three. Yeah, I'm gonna take the four of cups. We just take one of it. I mean, we could do Crystalline Elder Sign. Okay, I think we are going to take two copies of Arcane Research. I'm gonna take Eldritch Inspiration. Oh my god. Okay.
clever. Fuck that. <laughs> no offense, no offense, Grizzly Totem. Okay, what are we going to put our, our remaining experience into? Stargazing! Hmm. Mm, I do like Recall the Future. It never hits, but boy, oh boy, when it hits. Oh my god, you go to the moon. Scarcase Guard is good? No, I don't think it is. <laughs> I do not think it is. Start with upgraded six cents. It's not terrible, to be honest. Uh, it's either that or a crystalline elder sign, but I think the elder sign can wait. I don't think one upgraded six cents is a bad idea. It does kind of hurt the arcane research a bit. Yes, exactly. Stargazing is fun. Not good. And it's okay that a card can be fun, but not good. Alright, what are our other spells that we can upgrade? It's kind of also what I want to see here. Dude, I actually don't think mists are a bad idea. Okay, yeah, we can do the mists of Rilla. And then we can get, like, upgraded mists. We can grab the upgraded withers. I'm going to probably do it. We put one upgraded... Si I do think, yeah, I think that's probably just the best use of it. Expect one XP for plus one action, one raise, one card. Is a decent trade? Yeah, it's not, though. <laughs> that's the thing. It's not. Same with hand-eye coordination. I don't think hand-eye coordination is that good. Deny fives also on the table? Yeah, baby. Okay. Only one of you. Okay. To be honest, I'm actually pretty into this deck. Premonition. I kind of like open gate. It's going to get shit done. It also just commits for a brain or a foot if needed. What's do we what new neutral cards do we get? Like fucking nothing. Roger Dodger. Would glimmers be okay? Glimmer glimmers might be better than the open gates in terms of just like commit icons. I don't think it's bad. But I'd hate to draw them. You know, like, that's the thing. I'd hate to draw them. Let's go scroll prophecies. Yeah. We'll also live the sign magic dream. Why not? Okay. Okay. Honestly, I'm actually pretty all right with that deck. I think that deck's pretty looking pretty sweet. Tony! Tony, Tony, Tony. What splash do we want? Mm, scene of the crime. Really good. First watch is also pretty good. Take the initiative is pretty good. Daring is... Alright, it's probably Guardian. <laughs> There's just a lot of good shit here. It also allows us to flex a bit, which we do need to be able to do. Um, right, we'll just... We'll check out the other ones just to be, like, legit. Seeker. Surprising find. No, thank you. Curiosity. True understanding. 
Uh, Friday Night's Perfect is probably not it with this one. Okay. Survivor, I think, is Act of Desperation, which is really good. Dude, I also really like Improvised Weapon. Ooh, shit. <laughs> I like Live and Learn. Is there anything here that helps me get clues, though? I love Stunning Blow. I love Take Heart. What the fuck? Oh, we've been losing on Survivor for sure. Because we're going to lose uh, Take Heart. I uh, know, we're about to get to We're about to lose Stunning Blow, though. How are we killing people? Let's, uh, you know what? Let's start with that. Probably with this 45 Thompson. And that's it, baby! Cold Fest Pocket. Oh, Garage Wire is probably going to make it. Brute Force should be in this pool, right? Yeah. They gotta print more weapons. That's what I'm learning today. Now we have our Tony's Long Colt as well. Ty Warren Brand, Tony Morgan. <laughs> Let's fucking go. We don't have a good ally, do we? So we can't do the safety thing, which is... Um, You know, like, play Lonnie Ritter and keep safe from all that. Okay. Oh no, because we're going to go to the um, Garot Wire. We can't. We don't have a Relic Hunter here. We can get up to upgraded Zoe. We can go to Lola. We can go to Delilah. So Delilah's probably where we're going to go, right? Hmm. <laughs> You handle this one. We get so yeah, if we move Tony so if we move Tony to Dream Eaters, we get whatever weapons were in the investigator deck. The problem is though. Who do we bring in? And also Dream Eaters is really easy. You get Mauser and Breda. Yeah, those are pretty good. And Lonnie. Yeah, do we just wait Tony for one cycle? Is this our last chance to use Tony? Do we have to put Tony in Dream Eaters? Tony in Dream Eaters is going to fucking crush it. He's just going to destroy it. Dude, there's so many good cards. The Investigator started X. It's going to be heaven. 
All right, who would we do instead for our goon then? We could do Tommy, but then we do another fucking Guardian, man. It's just so easy to do Guardians. <laughs> it's just like the easiest fucking thing. But I think that's just probably the nature of this challenge, right? No, I, I can't. I've, I've done Rita with pretty much a collection actually better than this, and it was a nightmare. I, I've, I've lived it. I don't want to live it again. A rogue good's good. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to build with Tony, and he gets unlocked in the next cycle. They're even survivor weapons. In Dream Eaters? I don't think so. This is the, like, once Dream Eaters, I think, is actually probably the worst card pool. When it comes to a limited, as your option for a limited collection challenge. Guardian is just the best class. I'll counter that point by saying that Guardian is the simplest class, so they need the least to like get going. <laughs> Give them a weapon and they're going, Dice Gods, 28 months of the Golden Table. All right, let's check out Tommy. Let's just see Tommy. Thank you for your support, Dice Gods. Much appreciated. Oopsie, that's me. Tommy, okay. Sure, let's do Tommy. So Tony, I'm going to turn you into Dream Eaters, but I'm going to have to clear the deck out a bit, I think. Actually, you know, I'll just delete the deck. Oopsie, not you. I need you, Tony. Okay. Tetsuo. Composures, the upgraded composures were, um, the downgraded composures I'm pretty sure were f Forgotten Age? They might be Carcosa though. Yeah, they're Carcosa. And then Edge of the Earth. So we are not going to be able to experience them today. Give me 45 Thompson. Give me Enchanted Blade. Can we Hallowed Mirror? And play the upgraded version. Oh, dude. Guiding Spirit. <laughs> Jessica Hyde. Okay. We can't play... We don't have a Charisma, though. So I guess we just, like, cycle between Jessica and Tetsuo and don't get in engaged to either of them. Trench coat soaks. <laughs> Trench coat soaks. Dude. Yeah, well, cause, so here's the honest. I originally said that every cycle should have access, like every deck should have some access to core cards because I think that's where, you know, um, it's really fun to be able to like build 
charisma decks in like all the you should be able to get some core set cards but i know that a lot of people would complain and be like you can't keep doing you can't you're, all the decks are gonna just you're just gonna put deduction in all the decks i'm like fine fine no cores again Hmm. Yeah, I'll take Act of Desperation for sure. I'll take Improvised Weapon as well. I mean, we do have a lot of nice shit here. Give me Scene of the Crime. Give me Take Heart. Give me Stunning Blow. I mean, we have all the good stuff that we were just talking about with Tony, right? Take the initiative. I'll take a Daring. Give me something worth fighting for. We don't get true grit anymore. That's okay. I think I am going to take a one of trench coat. It does soak for you. <laughs> it does do the soak. Deduction zero, one XP in my cooking. No, no. It's a fine card. It's a powerful card, but uh, it's though that, that effect should remain at zero. Don't know how much we need to, but I'll still run two Solemn Vows. I once witnessed a contraband doubling a thermos. It was hype. Oh, how much shit were you guys in? <laughs> if you needed that much soup. That's a lot of soup. Yeah, exactly. Solemn Vows guts, if nothing else. It might make it to three. I'm gonna take a scrounge for supplies. I think I'm gonna take winging it. I used thermos before uh, in the th in the thick of it, unironically. I mean, yeah, I've, I've used it too, <laughs> but I never feel like happy using it. You know, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I messed up. All right, well, there's Circle Undone done. So five physical, three mental trauma. Finn doing the double... Okay, so you guys were in the shit. <laughs> you were. You were in the fucking shit then. All right. Mad respect. All right, we're moving on to Dream Eater. So we need to build four decks, but we do get um, the, the shit now. Uh, maybe that Tommy deck wants Backpack. This is our last chance to play back, back, Backpack. I'll put it in the sideboard. I don't think that this deck wants Backpack Zero. Do we only have uh, four weapons in this deck? Five? Eh, five will work. Okay. But... We have Circle Undone. So we get Circle Undone, Dream Eaters, and the Investigator Starter Decks. Let's fucking go. There are going to be so many fucking cards in these decks. There's going to be so many options. I'm so excited. All right. Give me... I think we want to build like one of each class, right? At least, like, one main of each class. Give me Tony Morgan. We need a, a Seeker. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Tony. Give me Lonnie. Give me Leather Jacket. Give me, um, Mao. Oh, let's just go Weapon. Oh, dude, and I still get the fucking Mauser. I still get Grawat Wire. I still get the 45 Thompson from the sideboard. I get the, uh, yeah, this is much better. 
This is the time for 50 card Mandy. Hey, you know what? It's Dream Eaters. Fuck it. Let's do it. You could do anything in Dream Eaters and win, probably. <laughs> you could probably do anything. The problem is I don't know how much we'd use her ability. But we can at least check. Oh, dude. Give me a lucky cigarette case. Give me the Tennessee Sour Mashes. We'll take those. Oh, what's our splash gonna be? Let's start with Guardian. Oh, dude. Fucking... I'm gonna take Guardian. Do we still have Active Desperation? Eh, no. I'm probably gonna take this. Active Desperation is really good. Dude, look what I found. Active Desperation. Dude, we still have Take Heart. Okay. Take Live and Learn. I don't think we have a tenth. Oops. <laughs> Oops, did I do that? Oh, ironically, though, actually probably not bad in um, Dream Eaters, right? I actually was thinking that's it's not terrible, but it is level zero. You're right. I think like it, it's only one test, but I think actually, oops, actually ain't too bad. Dude, I only need to add eight more fucking cards. Let's go. What the hell? I only have to add eight more cards, but they're just awful. What are my neutrals? Fucking what? <laughs> what? I I don't get any neutrals anymore. <laughs> There's just, there's just no level zero neutral cards? What? I don't get like, I don't get to choose anything. More than eight, too many survivor. Yeah, it doesn't get up to 10. No neutrals in my pool? Not even thermos. <laughs> Not even thermos. Uh, I guess we actually probably don't want Luggy Cigarette Case if we're gonna go Grot Wire, so I'm gonna cut that as well. Oh, fuck, it feels so bad, but I feel like we need to play fucking Switchblade, man, but it feels so bad. Eh, I mean, we do have... Nah, I think we'll be okay, we'll be okay. Yeah, Intel Report, small favor, give me... Investments, baby. That's the kind of guy I am this week. Switchblade is good. What the heck? Level zero Switchblade? Are you crazy? So we probably want to pair up, we, I mean, whoever is doing Dark Side of the Moon, you need to have a plan for those cats, and it's usually evading them. You need the two damage Tony, overcommit and Tony is Tony? I'm, I'm not going to listen to you. <laughs> okay, I think you're crazy. I'm not going to listen to you, okay? You can act in desperation as Switchblade? Are you fucking nuts? I, I, I can't lose. I can't read your comments anymore. <laughs> Since you're now just going to draw some open hands and ask wise investments in these decks? Hell yeah, brother. If Mauser goes bad, I'd rather just use a different weapon, right? Like, I'd rather just have a second weapon in play. Yeah. 
need to put in four more cards. None of those. I mean, the cigarette case can hold the fort. I mean, we're probably going to end up buying a Beretta, right? When it's all said and done, we probably want to buy a nice, big-ass, juicy gun. The upgrades are sick, but that's not a surprise for the Rogue class. I wish I had, like, a fucking neutral card I can put into this deck. But, you know, you just don't get those. I can't play, like, God sort them out, right? How does that work with swarming enemies? <laughs> does that check out? If I kill a bunch of swarming enemies, <laughs> does their health count? What is a Gug's health? Five. I think a Gug's health is five. Is there sirens outside? You guys can fucking hear that? That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, no core and three adjacent expansions. Exactly that. We're doing pretty all right though. Well, we're on Dream Eaters, and we only have uh, only have four more to go. This is the halfway point, like over the halfway point. It's really what the fuck? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Is that right? Am I missing a campaign on this? <laughs> I don't want to think about this anymore. Oh, that was Switchblade chat. Are we cooking? Are we cooking? If Switchblade committed for a foot, uh, for a fist, I think I'd consider it more, but the foot is just not great. Some cartoon theme song playing in the background? What the fuck? Alright, chat. What are my last two cards? I'm gonna let you guys decide. The next two comments I'm gonna say, because I actually have I can't decide. Cheap shot. Alright, that's one of them. It's not that wasn't even on my list, to be honest. And it's not terrible, actually. And you owe me one? Let's do it. I'm for it. Okay. Who is going to join Tony Morgan? Let's say that these guys are on the dreaming side. So we want someone with a relatively high foot. Who can get clues. Rita Young? Perhaps... Perhaps not. Can't play Silas yet. What do we even got? Three meters. Carolyn Fern. Rita with starter deck seems good. Rita wasn't good for a long time. Because <laughs> what did she... Let's see what she got. In the starter decks. I think Rita needed like Innsmouth to start getting like really interesting, I think. Still a clock here at your service. Got the mail for you, what what? Hmm, Derringers came out. Okay, we can play a Survivor? Dude, Tom Tommy Muldoon would have been great here. Rita gets Pilfer. She does get a Pilfer. <laughs> she does indeed. Okay, I need to build four decks from the Investigators without any overlap here. I'm also Circle and Done. We could do Diana Stanley. Always 
down for another Diana run. She could she could possibly fit. Circle undone. Then we also could do Marie. Because the, the Mystics get like the whole card pool, right? I don't I don't know if I want to try Patrice. She seems very fragile. And that she could just like collapse if things go slightly wrong. It's in Diana Goon. She's a mystic. She can be whatever you want her to be. I'm down to save Marie, though, for the other side, though, because I think we want, like, a higher brain for a thousand shapes of horror, right? I think Marie's pretty sick, though. We can consider her for a thousand shapes of horror. Maybe team her up with, like, Nacho, and Nacho just punches everybody to death. I mean, we could check out Rita. We could try to make everybody really happy and play Rita. I also could play Stella again. There's not many investigators in this game, are there? But I think Marie and uh, Nat Cho seem like a fun group together. Prosted Fairmont at your Ovis. All right, let's see, Rita. I don't think so. <laughs> but once again, admittedly, this is Dream Eaters. And Dream Eaters is very easy. How do we get clues, though, if it was Rita as a clover? Because that's what it would be, right? So maybe it's not you. Sorry, Rita. God. It's hard, man. Because Tony's the goon. I mean, maybe we do Marie with Tony and then we can do Nacho. No, because now we have... All right, we'll do Jacqueline. You're right. We'll do Jacqueline. She's really good. The Jacqueline Fine Mysteries. Jackie Lynn Fine. With a long neck. Okay. Give me clairvoyance. Give me six cents. And also give me what is that one card that it goes you're getting? Ineffable truth. That's the one. <laughs> Let's go. Give me voice of raw. Give me read the signs. Give me spectral razor. What the fuck? <laughs> is this just like fucking goaded? Give me the robe of endless night. Give me a scroll of secrets. Hmm. Give me a prescient. Fatality. Yes. Zaz! Six... Uh, sorry. I've been using your Twitch Prime. Not 62 months. You were 62 of 70. Thank you for your subscription with your Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Golden Table. It is an absolute pleasure to have you. Shining Trapezohedron time. Oh, now we're cooking. So the Jack and the Soul is a pre-built deck. I mean, in all fairness, most of my cards are actually from Dream Eaters and Circle and down here. <laughs> Give me the Nigh Existence, baby. Uh, I'll take Dark Prophecy. Dude, why did they stop making neutral cards, man? That's all I want to know. Uh, I don't have an ally. Oh, shit. All right. Well, familiar spirit, come on in, motherfucker. Oh, sweet. We'll put Twyla on the sideboard for sure, for sure, for sure. We'll 
do. We do get brain. We do get a brain boost. Uh, I mean, we can take the Azure Flame to fight. I think I'm gonna... We're gonna live that sign magic dream again, probably. Unless... Ritual Candles. Yeah, I'll take Prophesy, why not? All right, cool with that. All right, and then we're gonna do Nacho and Marie? Are we just, are we not doing the serve, the Seeker cards? I mean, I could do Harvey and Innsmouth. Yeah, let's do Harvey and Innsmouth. Last chance for Joe Diamond? I don't think so, sorry brother. Gimmick Investigators. I mean, he's not a Gimmick Investigators, but he's, like, closer to a Gimmick Investigator than a normal Investigator. They don't do well with, like, a limited collection. So it's best to just avoid them if you want to win. I think the Nat Show and the, um... Marie Lambeau is fun. I also have no... I haven't played Marie Lambeau in a campaign since the year I played all Investigators, though. So I think we're going to go with Marie. Seems kind of fun. Marie Lambeau! Lombo. Lambo. Limbo. Okay, well this is, honestly, we're going to build the deck. <laughs> we're going to build the Nacho deck. Get over here, clean them out, counterpunch, dodge, glory, monster slayer, one-two punch, stand together. There we go, the deck's pretty much done. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Vicious blow. Uh, dude, give me daring. We could go safeguard probably is probably worth it. First watch, I don't think so. Still no neutral, so don't get your hopes up. I can run a one of steadfast. Relentless, let's go. Greta is very good. It's a curve like, oh, the classic. I don't think I want Greta Ward to fuck that all up. Gross computing were full, pretty full ally slot. Potentially, yeah. These guys are here to die, though. Like, if they die, that's okay. I'm more worried about the five than the, the five cost than the slot TBH. I don't think it's wrong to run this at least at level zero just in case. I don't think it's wrong. I think it's just, like, probably the rightest choice. Okay, well, we get five of these cards. Five of our splash cards. Dude, I mean, we gotta play the Dream... This is our last chance to play the Dream Eater spells, right? It is, so we might as well take them... Um, Might as well take them all we can, right? Give me Voice of Raw, give me Sixth Sense. 
give you the non-existence dude we got so like the fucking mystics and circle and done and dream eaters were really good all right so you're paired with nacho dude is this just gonna be like the fucking <laughs> that one deck that we just played with what's her nuts like is there do we want to maybe change this to somebody else do we have a mystic splash in our pool right now not till sister mary right i will take the hawkeyes yeah Play cult zero. What are you gonna put Doom on? Great question. Haven't thought that far ahead. <laughs> Baron Samdi, let's go. No, Elder Sign, put it on my Hawkeye folding camera for sure, for sure. I liked her because of the brain. Is there someone else with a higher brain that we can bring? I mean, Dream Eaters, once again, is really easy. Like, Dream Eaters is kind of a gimme. Is there someone with better brain, though? Oh, fuck it. Sorry, Marie. You're going to go uh, another campaign without me playing you. I'm so sorry. I'll try Carolyn. I think Carolyn will be more fun. Yeah, Rip Marie. Another another year without playing her in a campaign. She's just kind of like a little bit dull to me. Give me the Hawkeye folding camera. Win and win. Okay. okay. Uh, we still have Alice Luxley for a little bit longer, right? Okay, I can get behind Alice Luxley here. <clears throat> Alright, let's look at cards that heal. Not the trait that heals, the text that heals. Let's search horror. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you could, you could do the thing <clears throat> where you play Carolyn just for her backside, which is like you know the her deck building. I think her deck like there's still the, the fucking deck's gonna be killer. Cause don't you get fucking? No, you don't. I was like, don't you get magnifying glass? Give me deductions though for sure, cause deductions are here. Uh, we can play Hallowed Mirror. Which I'll definitely run. Can't play the upgraded version, though. No, they ruled against that, didn't they? They said it for a bit and then said, Actually, just kidding, that was stupid. <laughs> we fucked up, we fucked up, please don't. She can do blue zero three. Oh, no, she can do that for that. Yeah, no, she can do it for that. Yeah. I'm an idiot. Don't listen to me. Bing. But then sideboard for sure, for sure, for sure. Spiritual resolve. Vincent can't get the shiny mirror. Yes. And then Akachi. Yeah, she had some fun for a bit. But then they said, no, we prefer our Akachi to be boring as fuck. 
Oh, I can play Read the Signs. I could even potentially play Spectral Razor. Play the Deny Existence for sure. Don't you need Hallowed Mirror out of Nacho? Oh yeah, I did say I would try not to put them in the same, but honestly, uh, at this point, fuck that. <laughs> These decks have been small enough. I'm I'm not gonna do that anymore. They're not unique, so I'm gonna. I, I, earlier on, before I realized how tiny these card pools were actually gonna be, I'm gonna rescind on that because, uh, fuck that. <laughs> this is uh, this has been tight enough as it is. Okay. Um, I get. 15 other cards, 2, 4, 6, 8. This will eventually count for the other one if we do get to the upgrade, the other version. I mean, I'm going to take Scroll of Secrets. Dude. I can get you. I just built a runic axe, bestow resolve, red clock Akachi. That's not boring enough. That sounds pretty, pretty vanilla to me, TBH. <laughs> sounds like putting a bunch of things together and being like, I guess I'll see what happens. <laughs> guess I'll have some fun, which is going to be fun. Doesn't move my needle, though. Oh, crack the case. Burning the Midnight Oil, let's go. All right, so we're at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Maybe a 1 of for the last one. Can also just run it. Oh, give me stand together. Is that it for Dream Eaters? This is the last one for Dream Eaters? Okay. Just save for a second. We get deductions for the next campaign too? We do. Dude, no, no neutrals is blowing my mind. <laughs> All right. I don't think so. I think we just have to run some guardian cards that we don't really want to. Dude, maybe Carolyn isn't the way. Oh, God. Fucking, it's so hard to get these decks built, man. Maybe Carolyn isn't the way either. Solemn Vow and Relentless. Interesting. <laughs> Well, it's kind of funny, to be honest. And then type here, I was doing that, man. <laughs> I fucking did it. That's what we got. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, man, this is actually harder than the first gauntlet. This is actually more difficult to build a deck than I'm, like, kind of just happy with. I wish I didn't change my mind about the corset. I would love a perception in this deck. Oh, boy. Just even, like, if I could play, like, six copy, six cards. So, like, three two-ofs in a deck. Oh, my God. I'd go to the fucking moon. Everyone will get an emergency cash. So everyone has some nice economy. Oh, frick. Who else would we play? No basic skills is more interesting though. Is it? <laughs> that bad news for the run of the Solemn Val combo. Oh no, it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Seems like it should. Solemn Vow is an FAQ about it not working. Is it in the official thing? Oh, no, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. You can't move to something that you can't. No, that, that does check out. You have to move it to something that can actually take damage. No, that, that checks out. Yeah, that checks out. Is there Meg Glass? Why can't you? And then if at least play, the damage goes on you. Your magnifying glass explodes and all the blood in it shoots out and kills you. <sighs> well, we talked about doing a Mandy deck. Fuck. If I'm having a hard time getting to 30, I don't think I can get to 50. So last chance for the Mandy deck though. <sighs> Alright, I'll theory craft. We'll put everything in the deck and see what happens. How about that? Alright, burning the minute I'll crack the case. Cryptic writings? A call oh, no, I'm, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not fucking out, man. I'm out. No, it's I, I started. It's not it. It's not it. Unlike chat, I like to try to win even with crazy stipulations <laughs> who's the seek it's amanda so we're not playing amanda i think harvey for insmith is not a bad idea Edge of the Earth is going to be great once we get Edge of the Earth. Also, chat, remember, I have not played Hemlock Vale yet, so do not talk about cave moss in this chat, because now I know I'm going to go into a cave and it's going to be covered in moss, and this moss is going to go on my assets and potentially blank the text on the assets. So don't talk about uh, Hemlock Vale here, because now I know I'm going to go into a cave and there's going to be moss and it's going to blank the text on my, my cards. Holy shit, this is hard. Circle and done. Oh my god. I wanted someone with high brain because going up against. Honestly, going up the unnameable is probably the only thing that actually scares me in Dream Eaters. It's only going up against the unnameable. Uh, 
Uh, no, I want to. I want to keep Harvey. I think I want Harvey Walters for Innsmouth. 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 <laughs> Mouth. It's. We. I know I used to say Innsmouth, but now it feels strange to me. Lance Mouth specifically, you've been saying that for a while. Because it's the last time I can use the um, Investigator starter decks in a campaign. Because the Investigator starter decks, according to this challenge, are only available for Innsmouth and Dream Eaters. I was also thinking of Clue Winifred, but it doesn't do what I want. Which is I want. I wanted someone with a higher brain. You and I are on the same page. <laughs> like, I could do it. Like, we could just ignore it. But I do like Carolyn Fern. I think I just have to suck it up. I don't think this Carolyn Fern deck is bad. I think it's just not as good as I want. And I think we just have to accept that the Carolyn Fern deck is going to be slightly bad. Like, I think we just, like... We grab dodge. I'll take first watch. We'll take vicious blow. We'll take steadfast. Yeah, I think I I I, I think this is fine. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Okay. All right, I'm going to just save you. I'm just going to save you. We do Winifred with Tony. And then we do Nacho with Jacqueline. Let's try it out. Or just, like, fucking Stella Clark. <laughs> God? God himself? Pilfer. Can I play Pilfer 3? I can play Pilfer 3. Intel report. Followed. We bring you into the dreaming side. It's not terrible. Followed Intel report. We don't get upgraded lockpicks, right? Oh, my God. I don't think you're the way. I don't think you're the way. I think I'm just going to do Carolyn. I was going to put in three copies of Solemn Vow for Guts, maybe? <laughs> I could do, like, two Solemn Vows for Guts and then, like, one Daring to help out Nat show. I think we just got to move on. This is I remember this is... Ex oh, I was covering you this the whole time. Are my fucking stupid? Um, This is what happened in the, uh, in the, in the original Gauntlet 2. I kind of just like started getting sticky in deck, but actually some of the decks that I were the worst um, actually like kind of killed it. All right, so we get rid of Circle Undone. We bring in Innsmouth Conspiracy. We get rid of Circle Undone down here. And now we are building for Innsmouth. Innsmouth. And I gotta bring my boy Silas, right? We gotta bring Silas. We have to. I love Silas Marsh. All right, let's do Silas and Harvey. Uh, I was like, we're close to being done, but that was before Hemlock Veil vale came out, and we're actually not that close to being done.
Norman Withers. I still have chances for Norman Withers, right? I still got, I, we still got a bunch of time and we're going to, uh, we're about to get some like really spicy cards. Like Edge of the Earth is probably, I think, the strong, like in terms of this, those three uh, car cycles are probably some of the strongest. But we want a deduction then? That's okay. I don't need to do the loop. It's I'm fucking playing two two handed. How many deductions do I need to play to win? The answer is like probably two. Deduction. Want to see a Father Mateo deck? Uh, I already built it earlier. Sorry. I would like the other deduction. Oh God! Burning the midnight oil. Let's go. Give me wood and green. Give me the upgraded wood and green in my sideboard. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Oh, give me fucking maybe dream enhancing serum, maybe? Dude, give me dream diary. Why the fuck not? Let's have some fun. I'll take laboratory assistant. Let's go. Uh, I'll take deep knowledge for sure. Yeah, I'll give me temp fates. <laughs> Why not? Thank you. Thank you. That's all we got, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. What can you do? Alright, give me Disc of Zama. I do think that card is actually kind of poggy. Selena fragments. Holy shit, can we talk for a second about how good Harvey Walters and Silas with Unrelenting is going to be? Can we talk about that? And we'll take Plan of Action. We ain't going to be picky here. Uh, I'll take extensive research. I will take a cult invocation to probably help out Silas a bit, potentially. Nice things to upgrade into. We're going to want a covenant for sure. Uh, I will take the cryptographic cipher. I don't think we want a Forbidden Tome. Okay, we just need six more cards. I think we just you just don't get picky. You take Cryptic Writings. If you draw them, that's great. I will take you. I don't think the practice makes perfect is the way. It would be so nice if it hits. It is out. It is out. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're a hero. You're a hero. Um, that's okay because uh, we can. Honestly, I'm happy. So what do we get here? We and we get Edge of the Earth. Oh fuck me. <laughs> Dream Eater's out. Edge of the Earth in. Thank you. Because I, you're, I always. It's because I took out one each time. But you're I was supposed to take out two for that one. This is like the double shift. All right, um, Silas, you know what? I'm just going to delete you too because I've never liked you. Silas is probably my least favorite investigator, to be honest. Dex left. We have two for Innsmouth, two for Edge of the Earth, two for Scarlet Keys, two for Hemlock Vale. We're down to eight decks, so we've built 12 of them. Harvey. And I am still going to do Silas, I think. Do you think Parallel Wendy stole Mateo's thing now that Kohaku is out? I, I do and I don't. I do think that um, the deck building was snatched up ruthlessly away from Father Mateo. However, I also think that like Hank Sampson also took, took some pieces of the pie that he shouldn't be taking. Um, but I do think that now, especially with the reveal of um, Olive McBride Level 2, I do think that now 
Father Mateo is starting to form a niche that is at least more consistently his, you know? Kohaku is broken? I don't think so. I haven't played Ko I mean, I've only played Kohaku a little bit. But I don't think they're broken. I think they have potential to be good. Not gonna deny that. Silas, baby! Okay, now we're cooking. Alright, let's get back to this. Burning the Midnight Oils, Deep Knowledge, Tempt Fate. I'll take a written in the stars, why the fuck not? I'll take expensive research, I'll take cryptic writings. Still get my deductions, still get my plan of action, still get my Seleno fragments. Oh, my dream diary's gone. That's the big change, okay. In the thick of it, is it time to start doing this shit? Give me lab assistant, give me wooden green sled dog. Oh, dude, give me fucking pocket telescope. Are you shitting in my mouth? I think I still like the disc. I still like the cipher. Sled Dog Silas, we might as well, right? If there was an unrelenting that did resources, that was a weird way to say resources. If there was an unrelenting that did resources, I would be actually like so stoked on that idea. Kirby. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can play in the thick of it, right? For like two copies of Divination 1. Sled Dogs come with another economy card called Rod of Animalism, by the way. Good point, but I think, sorry to say this, Rod of Animalism is actually kind of bad. <laughs> I think it's kind of bad. I was joking. In that case, hell yeah, it comes with it. <laughs> I'll join in on the joke. I'll yes end you, my friend. Let's do it. It's hard to tell with chat. Sometimes someone will come in and be like, hey, did you know that um, <laughs> you were you, Travis is wrong when Travis's sled dogs are not worth it? And then I'm like, okay, we got to talk for a second. <laughs> is this my, when's my last time for call for, no, that's not, we don't have the, um, What's its nuts? Mm -hmm. Oh! Perception's back? I kind of like Eon Chart, TBH. Seems pretty good. Dude, these fucking. Edge of the Earth was a very powerful set. It's not a bad thing. I hope Sled Dog fans are diehard serious. I, I think, I agree. I think they should go fucking hard for it, right? I'm with you. Okay, I need a one of. I mean, we could do the Miskatonic funding and just like go freaking nuts. Just need what, like a one of? I don't think I want to do you. I think a one of Disco and Zomni terrible. Let's run it. Okay, this feels great. That's chat. Schrodinger's jokes, both serious and joking until observed, in brackets called out. 100%. <laughs> Silas, baby! Give me 18 Derringer. That's it, we're done. Dude, we never used, um... Oh, I should do Silas... Card. No, because I don't get... I didn't get Silas and Dream Eaters. We never use brute force in this. How do we set up written in the stars? It's called uh, my gambling addiction needs to be um, fed. <laughs> That's how we play written in the stars. There we 
right, give me token of faith. Give me a look what I found. I'll take a jury rig for sure. Is this our only weapon? I think so. But Silas Marsh is also... That's actually probably not good for Innsmouth. What can we level up into? Chainsaw Silas. With the card that I'm pretty sure it might even be Holy Helicopter always beefs me for... No, that's Scarlet Keys. Fuck! I was like, I can finally play that combo that uh, the people beefed me for. I was like, I'm really excited to play this, but then never actually played it. How bad is it to wait for Salas for Scarlet Keys? What does he lose? He loses the 18th Derringer. He loses Chainsaw. I think this is when we play Silas. Discover the synergy between Copycat and Scroll of Secrets. Is it discard a skill, play skill? <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to crack what this code is. Oh, we can play Sledgehammer. I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I have faith in Silas. Take the Beloved. Maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, I'm good at Silas. I know how to play Silas. I can make Silas work a lot of the time. Into Jacob Morrison on the upgrade. Granny Orn in the starting deck. She soaks for three. She's expensive, but she soaks for three. Oh, I see, I see. That's neat. Oh, I can play Signal Crucis. Okay, that's huge. Unrelenting over here. Hang on the upgrades. I also would like... Keep faith, give me live and learn. Oh, I need to add eight more cards, huh? We don't have a lot of off-class uh, skills cooking in here. Yeah, that's probably worth it. I think you're right, Kunkos. Give me Dauntless Spirit. I mean, if we hit the Sea Change Harpoon, we're going to be golden. No, not hating on it. No, no, not, not hating on it. The fact that I never played it, where it was when we made a, a list video of cards we were most excited about, I was, I did Ghastly Possession. Mainly because I was like, I want to try this in Silas sometime, and I still have not tried it in Silas. In all fairness, I actually haven't really built my own decks in a while without some weird stipulations. <laughs> but that's what I was referring to. Give me bandages. Um, I will take... Tempt Fate. I'm play with best at Jacob Morrison. He's in the sideboard, baby. He's coming in. I guess Schaffner's ain't terrible. Play while we can. Okay. 
contains too many cards. Oh, I have to cut one. Hmm. Derringer, put that on the sideboard. Give me the upgraded what's its nuts. I don't want that. I want Spirit of Humanity. I have to cut a card. Uh, I can cut down to one beloved, I think. Excuse me. Oh, that's gross. People play Morrison when Granny exists? Yeah. I'm one of them. Do you want me to break it down for you? <laughs> Why one might want to do that? Or are you just being sassy? Or do, does someone need a lecture about why cards can be different and playable in different states? All right, we are out of Innsmouth. All oh, no, we're still in Innsmouth, but we lose the Investigator starter decks. Goodbye. And we bring in Scarlet Keys. Okay, now we're cooking. Okay. That's great. And it, yeah, I mean, we'll go even further. We were saying ast astute. Sometimes the best cards aren't actually the best cards in all situations. Copy paste the time when I told Travis that sometimes you don't need to play Faustian Bargain. You can play other economy and it'll do better. And Travis was like, no. Just making sure Travis isn't here is going to yell at me. <laughs> and I don't want to get yelled at. I think Granny trusts Morrison in most cases, though. I agree, but this is not one of those cases. All right, Holy Helicopter, you're saying you really want to see a Norman Withers um, deck with the Summon Servitor. I think I'll do that for you. Who's our goon going to be, and is it just going to be yet another survivor? <laughs> Sorry, yet another guardian. What is this? This is Edge of the Earth? Kaimani could be fun. Kimani could be a good time in Edge of the Earth. I'm kind of down to try it. Only problem is Kimani is missing a lot of the pieces that make Kimani actually sing IMO. I mean, I, I don't mind saving Kaimani for, um, what if we did like, uh, Monterey Jack is the goon. Oh no, I, I actually, I'm a believer in Summon Servitor. I did a Daisy deck with Summon Servitor and it was, it was... Uh, dare I say, kind of actually pretty poggy. Just first tell an investigator for another expansion. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, if I do Monterey Jack with his replacement signatures, I think we could be cooking a bit. Goon Jack is a choice. It's a, a choice I actually did in a previous challenge just like this. But that might be better in... Um, Scarlet Keys. Sorry, in the in the when we get to Scarlet Keys, I could do that. We could do Kaimani in the Feast of Hemlock Vale. I don't know if Kaimani is good. I I know nothing about that one. We're actually gonna go. What can Cheese Man upgrade into for damage? Oh, he has the best damage printed in his signature. His signature is insane. Okay, hear me out. What if we did 
in Scarlet Keys, we did uh, a flex team of Kaimani and Monterey Jack. Does that sound fun? I think that sounds kind of fun, right? Yeah. Come on, it's pretty bad for Scarlet Keys. How? <laughs> I don't understand how. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go with potentially Daniela. She's a guardian, but only on the tin. She's going to get absolutely swallowed by Tekka Lilies. But I do think she is really good. We could do Lily. But I just played Lily. And are we going to do this without taking advantage of Runic Axe? Probably. I think it's more fun if we don't do Runic Axe. Alright, we're going to do Daniela. Normie Withers. Alright. Give me the sledge, baby. Uh, give me Riot Whistle, because we still have that in our collection for the next little bit. Okay. I get five of these cards, but then we get to actually upgrade to a pretty good kit in the upgrades over here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, well, first, uh, do we... No, we, we've lost Flesh Ward. So I think the Soak is going to be the hardest part of this. So maybe we are less... Ugh. Well, it was rough. We were cooking after a couple upgrades. Seems to be the theme of today's deck building. Hell yeah. Do we get any allies here? Yeah, we have the best allies of all chat. Do you not know about them? They're called s s sled dogs. Have you not heard of these guys? <laughs> They're the best uh, allies you can get in the game. They're the strongest we've ever seen, right? It is Soak. It is Soak. <laughs> ah, fuck it, chat. You literally only live once. You might as well make bad mistakes, right? Too late. It's done. That might change. To be honest, this might change. May okay, so here's the alternative. We just kill the allies that we are given. Right? So we get rid of uh, motivational speech. We get rid of the sled dogs. Sorry, everybody. Um, we play medical student because that card's like actually kind of good. What do we have for our allies when we level up? Odin. Welcome to the goddamn table. It's a pleasure to have you. We have fucking Professor William Webb. Professor William Webb. Yeah, we're going to be taking it in the thick of it, for sure. We are, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's still level zero? Oh, okay.
It didn't get much better. <laughs> it didn't get much better, chat. Dilemma deck? I want to die. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we've taken the thick of it because it's like it works really well with. Can't you let's just draw faster to find our sled dogs faster? We don't have space for them. We don't. We don't get charismas. We don't have charismas here. Okay. I mean, I like the sledgehammer. I like the sledgehammer. The rod. Rod of animalism. Yes, that is true. If we hold this one card, we can actually start playing our stuff. That is true. If we get that one card. Honestly, it was a bad idea to even put them in it. Oh, fucking the Idol of Xanatos. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I'm choking. What if we lose the Riot Whistle? We play two copies of Idol of Xanatos. Only problem is Improvised Shield eats the Sledgehammer. Gamer, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the goddamn table. It's a pleasure to have you. Honestly, just kind of worried about dying. So I'm going to take two Earthly Serenities, I think. Oh, dude! <laughs> okay, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. It's also really good in uh, Edge of the Earth, right? So I can get one more Survivor card in here. All right, one second. Let's just play a few more of these sick-ass cards that we can play over here. Dude, I'll definitely play the Nickel Bolas. Breach the Door is probably worth it. So, yeah, no, yeah, no, and, and I said it was best in what? Innsmouth and Edge of the Earth. I think it was the, it's the two that I was like, these are probably where it's at its best. Dude, we're already out of the days of great economy. I mean, I could play Rite of Sanctification and Tempt Fate, but it seems kind of bad. We were in a brief moment of like great economy. Unfortunately, it is left behind us, it's left us behind. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm still going to play this. Do you die was a cool format? There are no plans for more of those, I suppose. I mean, nothing has really sparked my interest. I did the one with on, like, my, uh, Mind Wipe, but I don't know if I enjoyed making the video, you know? I am also not a huge fan of Rite of Sanctification. I like when, I mean, in a perfect world, 
in a perfect world, which this isn't, I like my economy to, like, pay itself, you know? Is geared up crazy? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Protective gear is so expensive. I wish this cost three TBH. It does soak for a lot, but that's like all it does. I need 10 more cards. Are you kidding me? I guess 10 fate is going to make it just to fill out space. Oh, Talisman of Protection is huge. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> I only I could take one Talisman of Protection, I think. Is that better than anything else we have here? I like Jury Rig. So I could play Signum Crucis, just to like hold space. Then if I do that, I could probably run Rite of Sanctification to get some economy going. I don't think it's terrible. And we need cards, so you might as well just take like the best case scenario, right? And just like assume it's going to work out. Four cards, that sounds like a sled dog to me. <laughs> that sounds like sled dogs. I think our soak's actually pretty sorted, TBH. Medux do advance bandages get behind me. We'll have stuff as we upgrade into it as well. Yeah, just discard those motherfuckers for Idol of Xanatost. I just want to watch the world burn. Give me a Grievous Wound. Because, yeah, you're right. Anything that we can't play, we just discard. Okay, is there a two-fist icon somewhere? In Guardian? Fat fucking chance, yo. Ugh, helping hand. Get out of here. Okay, uh, hear me out, chat. I'm going to play Runic Axe in the level 0 deck, and I'm going to look at replacing it with Baseball Bat. I think that's just, like, the right choice. Okay. Normie Withers. All right. I would like my whatever that card is called, Summon Servitor. Thousand rod. I'm also going to take a medical student. Medical students are great sacrifices to the glory that is um, Summon Servitor. Take Jeremiah. I'm, gonna be, I'm probably going to be in the thick. I mean, that's why the medical student's here. Don't worry. 
don't worry. I know he does nothing at zero. He just replaces something and then you get to look at him and you're like, thank you for being here. <laughs> Thanks for being here, brother. We're really proud of you. Is it one for that? That's actually really good. Okay, so we're going to go in the thick of it. I think for the last time. <clears throat> no, holy shit. We get three in the thick of it campaigns. Let's go. All right, uh, give me two divinations. And uh, I'm just going to take the book one to start. I also would like down the rabbit hole here, please. Thank you very much. Potentially. I think we can save on a lot, especially if we're planning on upgrading all this stuff as like our first bit and then everything. And we have the dowsing rods we can upgrade. Yeah, I think this is probably worth it. I'm going to take the hallow chalices. They help with, um, what's her nuts? You know, the other one we were just building. Sled dogs? Uh, but right now he takes up the ally slot, right? He does. But that's okay, because we'll get this and he'll take up the arcane slot we can get by with one divination for sure okay one two three four i have too many of the cards we can do a one of hallowed chalice oh you also do it you also do it motherfucker hmm Do we maybe just not do down the rabbit hole? I do like the boost. I do like the boost. Do we just do no hallowed chalice? But it is really good for getting the guy out. All right, let's just let's let's start over here first. Deep knowledge, I'll take map the area, I'll take written in the stars. I'll take plan of action, maybe take anal sis. I'll take temp fate for sure. I'll take pocket telescope. Take Grim Memoir. I guess we do no down the rabbit hole. That allows me to... Br oh, my hand slots are fucking loaded, brother. But I mean, I suppose is that terrible with this guy? Dowsing rods. So we can put our experience in living inks. We can put our experience in summon servitor. We can put our experience into dowsing rod. In theory, if we do get enough, the down the rabbit hole will be worth it. Give me heavy furs. And then I guess I'll take analysis, I think. Yeah, I think it's probably just the best. Yeah, yeah, I think this is good. Again, and it's going to upgrade a lot nicer. But that's the that's the, the quote of the video. All right, so we are out of Innsmouth. We're out of Innsmouth, and we are going into the Feast of Hemlock Vale. I just realized I haven't uh, drank anything since the start of this video, so I should probably drink something. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, uh, well, we have a plan for this one. And it should be... We only have four more decks to build. Let's go! Three hours in? We're, we're making good time? Uh, yes, we just want the original, I think. Alternatively, we want the parallel backside. Yes, I think so. Then we want the normal front side and the parallel backside. Okay, uh, we want the advanced versions of this. Whip. Okay, well, we have to choose our seeker cards first. And we get five of them. It is fun seeing the stuff, like, actually, um... Evade their way, like, move their way out of this. You know, it's like, oh, I had this for a bit, but now it's gone. You know, and now, oh, this one's here, and now it's gone. I think that's kind of fun. Okay, well, nothing's jumping out is like the obvious get here. I like the transmogrify. All right. Oh yeah, neutral cards. Wow, look at all these neutral cards. There's so many. How are we going to talk to Ishtaka? <laughs> oh, shit. All right, give me a disguise. Um, I would like... Oh, I'm kicking the hornet's nest. We are... These are two flex decks, remember. So they're going to be a little bit of everything. I will take Scout ahead. I'll take. Um, we have also these as well that we can choose from. Interesting. The Rod of Carnamagos? Dude, his fucking deck building's insane, TBH. <laughs> mm. I think we kind of like Wolf Mask as the option for this. I think Rod of Carnamagos is actually pretty easy to trigger, too. We're limited on hand slots, though. That's the only problem. Oh, shit. <laughs> I 
we do have hidden pockets. Do we have clothing? We have a disguise, but it's not clothing. So who cares about clothing? A coat? We also have... Sorry, it's not clothing? Oh, it's armor. That works. Okay. We could play heavy furs and hidden pocket. And that could eventually become stylish coat. And then we want the rod of car... Oh, we also could do... What's its nuts? We can upgrade into... Uh, that stupid-ass card. A cult reliquary. Isn't coat mid? Yeah, of course coat's fucking mid, but it's here for the fucking hidden pocket. Alright, give me Scrimshaw Charm. Okay. I don't know if I want to play Friends in Low Places. I need my ally. But is Bianca de Katz the only ally we have to start with? Maybe we have something in our secret class. Uh, Jeremiah Kirby. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Let's try him out. Fuck it, right? He's probably going to be replaced with a, an upgraded ally anyway, right? I think I like him more than the others. We also could take a um, in the thick of it, but I might not. I don't know. Yeah, like we could go to Janae later on, but you don't get a lot of experience. Usually, at least it's trended downward for me. Thieves kit, it's probably worth it. Especially with Dr. Charles West. Pocket telescope, I don't think it's necessary. Do we dare embezzle some treasure? I'll take that. Okay, I get to put in one more survivor card. I like the control variable. I like embezzling treasure as well. I do think you guys convinced me on that one. Seems kind of fun, TBH, especially if we can get both of them embezzling some treasure. I have to remove one of these survivor cards. How much do I like the control variable? I mean, all we're doing is adding them with this card. Scrimshaw charm for the rod, so I don't know actually how good that is. I think level one of control variable is probably fine. Are we gonna go in the thick of it? We could get a better British Bulldog.
Come on, doing curses. I mean, we can't really do like hard curses, but Kimani is probably going to add curses. Yes. But we don't really have a lot of good ways to add curses with this card pool. I don't think I'm going to in the thick of it today. Nothing has really jumped out to me as like the important part of this deck. I just need a two of. Could be Grift. Grift's good economy. Just make a shit ton of money. Kind of cool with Quick Getaway too. That's a not bad. I think we like the Grift more. Okay. Good job, Monterey. And now came Monty. People wanted to see the microscope and people will see the microscope. Give me Matchbox. These decks are going to be very similar. <laughs> They're going to be very similar. Give me British. They're just the dream team. They're, they're working together to get this job done, baby. <laughs> All right. I think you will play quick getaway. They both have bank jobs. I don't think I'm going to play bank job. Give me light footed. I think you're going to skew a bit more on the. Oh, fuck yeah. Give me this guy's, man. Eh, maybe not, actually. We'll see. Microscope valid in two player? Yes, I've played it in two player and it worked fine. Dude, uh, Kaimani would love the, um, what's his nuts? Charles West? Why can't Kaimani play Charles West? That would have been huge. Oh, upgrade a Mariner's Compass is a great way for this deck to go. Eh, fuck it! That sounds kind of fun, isn't it? <laughs> that actually does seem kind of fun. I don't think for this, but... Alright, this might be worth it in the thick of it. I think Kaimani is going to be on the weaker side. So we still have Edge of the Earth, so I want these blurs... Dirty fightings are maybe, but we are here to get clues. But I mean, like, both of us can get clues, right? I actually don't know if the rod's the right way, TBH. I think the rod might not make the cut. That is really good, though. Yeah, the rod might not make the cut. Yeah, you can take out the rod. Because it's a relic, right? Yep. Yeah, because that's our only way to add consistent curse tokens. I think if they were played with, like, um, Kohaku would be a bit more interesting. Uh, 
But I mean, like, Raw doesn't need a lot to get going. I just don't know if it's the way, to be honest. Why Wolf Mask instead of Fox? Because I'm, I'm not planning on moving out of locations with enemies. Kaimani is going to take the Fox Mask. For sure. But uh, not our good friend, Monterey Jack. I like Wolf Mask more for him. Because he's more about fighting. Uh, Monterey Jack is going to be more about gooning. And Kimani Jones is going to be more about the cluing. The hyperphysical shot caster. These two are definitely going to need to have to work together. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to lose the rod. I just do not think it is the way. I am going to add in the dowsing. I'm going to add in a different rod. Oh, we can both play Ethereal Slip. Fuck it, give me a one of ethereal slip. Maybe in both of them? Maybe. Hmm. Okay. So we can lose control variable too now. This is not really like doing anything. Crazy, just go to two ethereal slips? I don't think so. I mean, maybe, maybe I, I do want to play a Monterey Jack Rod deck, but I think you want Faustians for that to really pop off. Let's look at tools a bit more, see if anything jumps out at us. Nope. I, 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 I was about to say, I wish this didn't take up a hand slot, but it actually technically doesn't need to. <laughs> it doesn't need to with this motherfucker. Dude, maybe this motherfucker will just make it the whole time. What, did I cut one of my Thieves kits? I mean, I'll keep one of them. Alright, we need to have our Thieves kits over here. Hey, guess what we get in Hemlock Vale? We get our beautiful, beautiful core set back. Yes! I can't wait! I do like me some Moxie. I was trying to see if we want to in the thick of it here. I think we kind of do. I think I like it more for Kaimani. Uh, is mainly because Kaimani's already at 16 cards and I'm running out of ideas? Yes, it is. Thanks for asking. Uh, I think Kaimani also is going to do the hidden pocket trick. Like I said, these two decks are going to be very similar. They're going to be very similar. But I do think they're going to be really... Um, 
they're going to be really fun to play. Oh, that's already in here. Fuck. <laughs> um, all right. Is there anything here that's going to be better for us to start with our investigating? We could get an upgraded thieves kit to start us off. But I kind of like the two blurs. And then we want like a level one card. Stylish coat. Maybe. We do need a clothing or armor to put this into. Oh, breaking and entering too. That's right. This motherfucker shit is here. Clean sneak! Yeah, I'll probably try it out. Potentially. Yeah, I think we do take the coat, because then we can also just run the heavy furs. Um, and then we grab, you guessed it, Grift. <laughs> take the hornet's nest. As I said, these two, these two MFers are going to be very close together. Oh, they also start with 5 XP. Right, I fucking forgot about that shit. Oh my god, I am so bad at Arkham Horror the card game. I always forget that Kimani has an extra 5 XP. I And I'm honestly proud of myself for remembering that... Um, that fucking... <laughs> Father Mateo does. Alright, let's do two stylish coats. Oh my god, our world has opened up. We have what? We could do the microscope. Hmm. Let's come on and get the 5 XP. Because the designers chose to give Kamani 5 XP. I don't know what else to tell you. That's just uh, how it goes. Okay. I think I'm going to run with two Thieves kits. And I think the blurs can wait. Yes. I'm well dressed. I mean, we could do toolkit instead of stylish coat. Sorry, tool belt instead of stylish coat. I actually think that's not terrible. Because then we can put the blurs back in. We run tool belt here. Because that's still clothing. So we can still put some hidden pockets on it. And then we can put some more tools in here. Hmm. Let me look at this motherfucker for a second. I'm going to lose the slips, I think. And we're going to play that Ancestral token, because we actually don't have an accessory slot. In the thick of it, Microscope four, uh, four times two. It's an option, but I think that this is going to be better for us. Tool. Tool. Pocket multi tool. God, I wish this. I mean, I was going to say, I wish this doesn't take up a hand slot, but I guess this deck, it kind of doesn't. <laughs> I guess it kind of doesn't. Uh, and then I think I'm just going to take a grift 
I already have it. <laughs> I already have it. I actually kind of like Honed Instinct and Kaimani. I think it's actually kind of sweet there. Anything I want to change here? I mean, uh, uh, these are all subject to change. Once I get closer to, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be looking at these again. It's just the act of building through 20 decks that is, uh, is I think, the big grind right now. Okay. We're going to move on to our last two decks here, which are for the Hemlock Veil, which I know nothing about. And I'm hoping to God that it is released by the time that I play, that I get to the point in the gauntlet. Please, for the love of all, that is good and great. Please do that. Okay. So, we need two more decks. And we have Scarlet Keys. Yes, it was a lot harder to do in the gauntlet. Yes, it's going to be a lot easier to adapt with this one. Same with upgrades too. Don't need to cross-check. So we have Scarlet Keys, Hemlock Veil, and our good friend, Revised Core. How do we want to do this? I mean, I kind of want to play Kohaku. Be kind of fun to bring Daisy. Who are our goon options? Who the fuck was the survivor from Scarlet Keys again? Daryl. Yeah, it could be Agnes. Agnes is never a bad idea. It'd be fun to play with her. We do have Shriveling, so Agnes could be our goon. Yeah, you know what? Let's try Agnes. And then I might cook with Daryl. I might cook with Daryl for my my survivor. For my, my clue getter. We might try that out. So let's start with Agnes. For our last two decks. This is deck 19 and 20. Oh, dude, we have the sickle, too. Holy shit. Okay, we're cooking. We're cooking. Oh, uh, holy rosary. Look at all these fucking great cards that are back. Arcane Initiate. Oh, my God. It feels like heaven. It feels like heaven, chat. Give me Sparrow Mask. Holy shit. Is this what it's like to just have... Oh, my God. Neutral skills. Uh, g -g 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 Guts. Oh my god, an emergency cash. I knew this would feel great. I knew this would feel great when we got back to it. That's why I looped it around. Because I was like, no matter what, this is going to be fucking sick, yo. Alright. Alright, give me shriveling. Yeah, we're going to take forbidden knowledge so we can ping our ability as wanted. There's a typo on the... No! <laughs> no! It's probably been like that forever! Oh! No! Gauntlet! No! <laughs> it's been like that forever! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, fuck! Oh... All right, well, let's keep it going. Okay, I mean, I'll probably take a living ink.
Hmm, string of curses. I'll take a blinding light. Beggars can't be choosers here. What's paying attention? I spelled gauntlet the entire time in all the copy pasting titles I've been doing. Give me drain essence. Ooh, explosive ward. Dude, we have fucking upgraded on case the soul. Are you fucking kidding me? That's incredible. Yeah, we'll take explosive ward. Give her a cargo ward protection. I actually don't like ward protection anymore. I'll play it because people get mad at me if I don't, but I actually don't play it much anymore. So no, I haven't heard of this card. I'm almost done. Fuck, I've even got the survivor. I mean, that's probably good. We can cut stuff. Probably Pelt Shipment is probably not a bad idea, TBH. Oh, but it's also lucky. Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, I think I can lose Explosive Ward. Oh, but I kind of do like it. It's Tesla's damage. This is testing. That's also really good. Yeah, I do think... Hawkshot. What the fuck? I, I can play a Vicious Blow and Mystic? Myst you, I can play a Vicious Blow in Mystic? What the fuck? Is that allowed? Oh shit, I don't have upgraded Shriveling. Are we in trouble? I don't have upgraded Shriveling. Oh shit, we don't have upgraded Shriveling, chat. That's Dunwich. War protection is literally the only reason to play Mystic in 2024. You know what? I'm going to ban you. <laughs> I don't like you anymore. I'm just timing you out for a bit. Oh, no. I'm just kidding, man. But I'm close. It's not. It's not the only... That is such hyperbole, man. You're you're just a little fucking turdlet. I'll tell you that much right now. No, the problem is, is that... Player cards have outpaced the encounter deck, and I think there are better cards than Ward of Protection. Because most of the time, you can just pass the test, or, like, your card that is already doing a million other things will soak the damage for you. Don't time about, but cut Ward of Protection to assert your dominance. <laughs> oh, Sam Forrest? I think you and I are about to become best friends. Miss Aurelia can't play it. This is a problem. There's a lot of good stuff here, but not being able to go to upgraded spells, especially when I know nothing about Hemlock. Because that makes this a lot worse. Have you not played Hemlock yet? It hasn't released in Canada, no. Yeah. If the encounter decks get scary again, then I'm going to see the value in like a card like Order Protection. But I think right now, you can just be more efficient with your cards. I don't know if Agnes is cooking. Like, there's a lot of good stuff here, but no upgraded shriveling is kind of a fucking travesty. No, I think Ward is good here. I think Ward is... No, I think Ward is great on Agnes because it also deals damage. Like, that's sick. But the problem is I just don't know if I can play Agnes anymore. Because, I mean, we get the Spectral Razors when we upgrade. 
I just don't know. Here, let me remind myself what's in... Um... Don't make me do it. Don't make me play a guardian. What's the restriction? Uh, I'm building... This is it. I'll put it on a screen. But basically, my, my I'm get, I get three sets, and they rotate for each um, campaign. I mean, we could play the Athame and the Rod. <sighs> But we just crumple to a boss, you know? Problem is, I just don't really know who to play. Man, I thought they were upgraded Trivelins, but they're in Dunwich, right? They're in Dunwich. That hurts. It's definitely not going to be Amina. Could be skids. <laughs> it could be. I do think he's gotten a big improvement in this new stuff. Here, you know, what? I'm gonna just save you. Could go for Hank. I've been playing a lot of Hank lately, and I kind of feel like he's cooked. Hank's not cooking. Hank's cooked. All right, skids. Gauntlet. All right, we're gonna start with Wolf Mask. Give me the Bulldog. I'll take a machete. I'll take the other machete, the one I can play. I can play B Cop. I take a machete. Dude, I can take guard dog and I can play a runic axe. Runic axe skids. Is that good? No. He grabs saga. I mean, Saga and Glory is not, like, terrible. Give me the Ancestral Token, I think. I agree. I think Skids is looking better than Agnes already. I do agree with that. Oh, shit. Fighting Lessons is a good card. Vicious Blow is a good card. <laughs> He's not actually a Guardian either, so it's making me feel a little bit better. Dude, I can play Backstab. Let's go. I can play Grift. Let's go. I think Dirty Fighting is definitely the way. Oh, I can play Charisma again. Oh my god, I can play Charisma again? I think I kind of want... Oh, sorry, in my sideboard, not my deck. I think I kind of like the idea of Cat Burglar. Lockpicks is in this. I think I'm going to go with Daryl for my fighter, though, so I think I should be able to get clues handled, luckily. If you do be witching, I don't know if I'm gonna do be witching, and if I do be witching, we can then take out those um, thirty. We can take out only go to one dirty fighting, right? So we're gonna see what happens. Oh shit! You know you should give me. I'll take uh, what is that card? 
task force. The two white dudes standing around. It's like one in the chamber. Oh, dude. Fucking, this skid's... Skid's got the shit. Skid's got some stuff here. I could do the 45 automatic, but I don't know if I'm going to. I think I want to take the 41 Derringer. I think I like that more than the automatic, just because it's like literally one resource cheaper. It's not consistent, but it is cheaper. Um, neutral cards. I would like one of everything, please. I would like an emergency cash. I would like an overpower. I would like uh, manual dexterity. And honestly, I think that looks pretty good, right? I think that's actually a pretty legit deck. This is actually, I'm going to just say it. Probably uh, one of our best level zero decks of the whole gauntlet or gauntlet. I think that actually looks pretty sick. All right, I think I'm going to do Daryl with the other one. I think Daryl's going to just kill it. <laughs> I think Daryl's... Sorry, Agnes. I, I would have loved to play that Agnes deck if I also had another... Um, if I had a Shriveling, I could upgrade to. That Agnes deck uh, would have done wonders, I think. Uh, Daryl Simmons. All right, give me um, Shed a Light in the sideboard, because it now costs two experience uh give me matchbox hmm should we try like a dark horse daryl magnifying glass oh my god oh my god um i will take the survivor mask Sparrow Mask, please. Give me look what I found. Give me Lucky. Give me Long Shot. Deduction Alert. Oh, yeah, Deduction's here too. Give me Deduction Alert. I'll try a testing sprint. Give me Grim Memoir. Oh, I guess we actually can probably do the Shadow Light that well. I'm going to cut the Shadow Light. I don't think that's the way. Because I think that we uh, don't have the stuff that makes... I mean, we do have Old Key Ring 3, right? But I don't know if that's enough, you know? Like, we also could have Flashlight, but I don't know if it's enough. Dr. Milan? Holy shit, we can play Dr. Milan Christopher again? Not this one, though. All right, give me Hunting Jacket on the sideboard. Give me Mariner's Compass on the sideboard. Give me... Yeah, this is the last deck. Take pelt shipments. I think I'll hold Rabbit's Foot. I 
This costs XP now, right? What a day! What a day! Yeah, give me the flashlight. Not that one, though. Uh, I'll take um, a perception. I think I'll also take an unexpected courage. Maybe not. Uh, is there ways for us to get evidence? We should probably do that, right? We should probably do our ability. Hey, how's it going? I want you. I want you! How's Russ doing? Russ is great! He was here for a bit, then he was being in a little bit of trouble, so I sent him upstairs, and now he is, uh, I think, sleeping. We need some evidence cards in Survivor, yo. I think this deck is also really good. All right. Let's go! We did it, chat. Thanks to your help and my stupidity, we have teamed up together and we have built 20 decks together for the next gauntlet. Why two pelt shipment? Uh, why not? Hey, they can put four pieces into a pickle. I thought it was Daryl. I mean, that's why I'm saying that we need to, um, uh, there needs to be survivor evidence cards to give Daryl a bit, like, of life in that, to be, like, flavor survivor stuff. I think you could for sure. All right, what do we think is the worst deck of it, and why is it Jim Culver? <laughs> These decks were kind of rough. But I mean, like, part of the fun of the gauntlet is seeing what wins and what loses, right? So, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, the next episode of this is going to begin tomorrow. So the first episode of the gauntlet where we see Rex and Zoe work together to defeat um, Dunwich. Uh, and then, if you're watching on Twitch, it's going to be next week. We're going to play next week. Uh, I do. I started this by saying that I think this was easier going to be easier than the one collection gauntlet but i think as chat pointed out correctly you're able to kind of divvy up your good cards between all the decks then and just like fill the dregs uh and it hurts to put dregs but i feel like in this one it actually was harder so i'm curious to see how the decks go in action but i really enjoyed the challenge and i hope you did too as we buckle up for 10 campaigns, I think it's, no, it's nine campaigns, um, of content coming out on Wednesdays on the channel for the foreseeable future. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, have a good one. And uh, if you want to support the channel, you can do so by liking, commenting, subscribing. Let me know uh, which deck was your favorite uh, and which deck you think sucks the most. And why is it all of them? Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. And as always, a JJ's.